All right, today we're gonna to go over debreaking a front two and a half ton Rockwell. Give you guys kind of a rundown on how to knock the drum brakes off of these axles. Uh, the front's obviously different than the rear, but we'll go over the front today and we'll do the rear in a different video. So first step is to pull out the ring of bolts around your drive flange, just a half inch bolt. So a three quarter inch wrench socket will pull them out. It should slide right off. There's a little gasket in behind there. Sometimes you have to give it a little tap just to break it free. Once you get that off, you'll see that there's two blocking nuts on the spindle. They hold the preload on the bearing. All you gotta do is there should be a locking tab here, you can see. And these tabs will be folded over to hold the nut in place. All you gotta do is take a chisel, fold that locking tab back up like I did there and there. Then what you'll need is a three inch eight point socket. Yeah, with our socket, uh, the outer nut should be fairly tight. So it'll take a bit to break it loose. Obviously I'm pretty tough so I just did it with one hand. And once that's loose, spin this outer nut off. Lock tab comes off, that, and this back nut, it just sets a preload on the bearing, so it's not too tight. Even the weakest of the guys should be able to loosen that with one hand. Okay, now that we have both spindle nuts off, all that we have left holding things together is the outer wheel bearing there. You can see it packed full of grease and it should slide right off once you start breaking this drum loose and it comes apart right in here. The whole thing slides off attached to the hub. The only thing you got to be careful with is you don't drop this bearing on the ground. It kind of has a tendency to just slide out and hit the ground. So make sure you hold your hand over it, catch it when it comes loose. So when it comes to pulling these brake drums off, sometimes you get lucky and you can wiggle it loose and it'll slide off and everything's happy. But a lot of times, if there's a little bit of rust between the brake pads and the drum, you'll have to use a, either a you know, pry bar, hammer, or this is the setup I prefer to use. Just an H-bar puller, two half inch chunks of ready rod, and then I just push against the end of the axle shaft here. And before you freak out and think that it's gonna damage something, the axle shafts do have a thrust on the back side of them that's fine to push on. And the amount of pressure that it takes to get this thing off of here is very minimal. It just saves a headache. And here is the drum removed. You can see the brake shoes in there. Here's the drum. Uh, when you're removing it, just be careful. It's a bit heavy. You know, if you're struggling with that inner spindle nut, you might want to get a hand, use a, you know, an engine hoist or maybe get your older sister to help you lift that off of there. You can see the inner bearing it likes to stay on the spindle that's fine just leave it there for now uh, this is your ring of spindle bolts spindle nuts here we'll be pulling them off to get the backing plate with the brake shoes off and the spindle will come with so the next step is we're going to pull off this ring of nuts they hold the brake backing plate on along with the spindle um, usually what i do is i leave that inner spindle bearing in place Unless you're planning on repacking it or changing that back seal, there's no need to really remove it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover that with a rag. Or if you're poor like me, you can just cut up your sock and wrap that around there. It'll keep the dirt and stuff out of that bearing. Save you from having to clean it up. Here's our backing plate removed. It comes with a little spacer. It sits on it. All that's junk. It can go in the scrap bin. Uh, here's the spindle. It's broke loose. It'll sometimes take a little bit of effort to get it free. You can tap on the end of the spindle here. Just make sure you use a plastic hammer. Don't hit this with steel or anything. And uh, this can just wiggle it loose, slide it off. The other thing that I forgot to mention is once you're done pulling the spindle off, you can remove your sock from that bearing. It'll stay clean now. And uh, what I prefer to do is just give her a little, little shot of brake clean. 
just kind of knock the, the grease off of it and then you can put it back on your foot so you have it for the next time you got to pull brakes off the rock well.